Hello, today I will be discussing about the major operations of a amblyoscope or a synaptophore. So, as a synaptophore, you have seen, okay. So, synaptophore, the basic principles which comes to come to that. The eyepieces of a synaptophore consist of a plus 6.5 diopter collimating lenses, which require the patient to relax their accommodation as if looking into the infinite distance, right? So, the synaptophore is adjusted so like that you are looking at the distance okay so when you are measuring the uh, fusional status or any doing any other test in synaptophore basically you are doing it for distance for near for measurement for near when you are measuring suppose a negative fusional virgins or the positive fusional virgins for near or doing a cover test for this near you need to add a minus three adapter lens in both this uh, eye pieces so that to measure it for near okay specifically uh, the eye pieces consist of a plus 6.5 adapter collimating lenses right and uh, you can see this is an angle angle of deviation will come to that how to measure the angle of deviation okay so let's come to the basic operation of a synaptophore first thing what we have to do in a synaptophore is we have to measure the uh, angle of deviation with a simultaneous macular perception of slide, macular perception slides I hope you have remembered that there is a like uh, the first grade of binocular vision SMP simultaneous macular perception means that uh, so when you see two different targets are stimulated into two uh, uh, in our both eyes retina okay at the same time simultaneously we are seeing two different images with our both eyes so how do we see we can perceive it like this so if there is a lion and cage okay if there is a lion and cage uh, lion is seen by the left eye and cage seen by the right eye so if we uh, if you have simultaneous macular perception you will see that the lion is inside the cage okay now these are the tubes of a synaptophore you can see the eyepieces there okay so we need to test the angle of deviation first okay so what we are going to do we are placing we are going to place the simultaneous macular perception slide okay uh, a slide of a cage uh, line in the right eye and the cage in the left eye or anything you can put it the slide size is foveal is 1 degree macular is 1 degree to 3 degree paramacular it is 3 degree to 5 degree okay now the tubes are objectively uh, by the examiner and subjectively by the patient adjusted so that the either the lion is perceived to be inside the cage or one image is suppressed okay so you put these two slides in the synaptophore tube and then ask the patient to look into before that what you have to do you have to set the ipd okay there is a rotating knob basically so with the rotating knob you have to set the ipd so you have to measure the ipd with the air you can measure with the ruler you can measure first you set the patient's ipd now you have to remember that whatever you are doing you are doing for the distance okay so you have set the instruments properly instrument properly okay uh, patient's height chin rest head rest everything is adjusted and now you put this smp slides okay and then ask the patient what do you see if the patient tells that the patient sees that the lion is inside the cage okay so that means his angle of deviation is zero so basically we are going to measure the objective angle of deviation and subjective angle of deviation by this first basic operation okay so how do we do that suppose the patient is telling that the lion is not inside the cage okay so then you what do you do you tell the patient you release uh, so you tell the patient suppose there is a left hand the left hand tube is there right so tell the patient to rotate the left hand tube keeping the right hand tube fixed at zero see this is the zero marking okay so this zero marking will be uh, constant for both the sides for the right side and the left side okay so one side you have to fix it 
okay one side should be fixed at zero the other side should should be movable now you ask the patient if the patient tells that the line is not inside the cage then you ask the patient to slowly move the tube left hand tube okay with his left hand so left side tube with his left hand and then to bring the line inside the cage suppose the patient and now you look at the measurement so suppose you are getting 10 10 degree if you are getting okay so you that is your subjective angle of deviation so whatever you are getting you should be noting okay so that is your subjective angle of deviation why because patient's response is noted now if uh, this is a subjective angle of deviation you are measuring it right you are writing in your paper and uh, keeping a record of it now you can do the same test objectively also the so same thing you tell the patient to uh, you put those slides okay keep that sign up to four markings both side at zero degree and ask the patient what he sees if he tells that the line is not inside the cage then you yourself move one arm of the sign up to four the left hand side the left side you can move that arm and bring the line inside the cage now whatever measurement you are getting here suppose you are getting 20 degree or 10 degree whatever you are getting so that is your objective angle of deviation now your first point to record in a sign up to four is to first you need to set the sign your instrument set the ipd and then you should measure the subjective angle of deviation and objective angle of deviation with the help of smp slides okay now this is your first job to be done okay and then you can actually find out the angle of anomaly and all okay so next uh, videos i'll be discussing what next to be done thank you